Hey guys, MomoGuru back, and I'm going to give you a little run through on how you customize your CodeLink desktop. All right, so let's start with the basics here. Every one of these things can be dragged and moved around. The only one that doesn't have these little double arrows is this right here, and I guess I could put that on there, but whatever. So you can slide these all around, you can move them however you want, and you can cause or force CodeLink to remember where you put them. So if you want CodeLink to remember those settings, you'll open up your options, go into GUI options, and right here at the bottom, you've got Remember Desktop Object Positions. However, if you're playing in the browser, this will not work as browser sizes differ all the time. And if you log in on a laptop, things are going to be scooted off the screen and you won't be able to see anything. So to keep people from pulling their hair out, I made it very simple. The browser version will not remember your desktop positions. If you want them to remember where you've scooted your things around, go and download the standalone executable. There's no installation. You just click the exe and basically the exe is nothing but a little wrapper for the actual flash file that you're playing. All right. So let's take a look at some of these GUI options here. You'll notice in the general options, we've got, you know, the ability to turn on and off our sound effects, our music, our, do we want to hear when we get new emails, that little ding that happens. Um, you can turn off the connection sound effect. You can also turn off those follow-up mission emails that tell you, hey, good job, or hey, you aborted, or hey, you raised the level, here's some extra money. You can turn off those emails as well. You can also turn off a couple of those warnings that pop up now and then, and once you understand how the game works, you really don't need them. All right, so let's back out of the general options and hop into the good stuff. Let's go ahead and change our desktop image. Click the desktop image, and you'll notice you've got a URL path in here that's taking you right to the CodeLink server. And if you pay attention, you know it starts at background image 6. Well, that's kind of strange. I wonder if there's a 5. And indeed there is. So you can scroll through these and change up your images, go through each one. I guess we'll uh, settle here for this number 2. That looks kind of slick. And we'll hit back. Now, if you want to, you can put, if you've downloaded the game, you can put an image in the code link folder, and all you'd need to do is have something that looks like that, background, underscore, whatever, you know, whatever wallpaper you've put in there. If you want to grab a URL, you can put a URL in, and it will load the image from the internet. Sometimes websites block hot linking, sometimes websites lag, things like that, so it could get a little buggy on you when you're doing direct links that are not from the code link server. All right, so let's go ahead and back out of that, and we are going to mess with our GUI options. You can do things like change the, the positioning of your bars. I've just switched them to vertical. You can also size them. If you've got real high-resolution monitor and you want those icons to be just a little bit bigger, make them bigger. And vice versa, if you're on a laptop and you just don't have enough room, look how small you can make those things. So just click the, click the size button, and it'll change them around until you get the size that you want. And also, you'll notice underneath you've got Window Scale Maximize and Window Scale Minimized. Now, I know it says Window, but it also affects some of the uh, pieces here at the top. You notice our, our bars are getting bigger, our trace tracker is getting bigger, our CPU is getting bigger, and the opposite. You can get them smaller if you're on a real tight resolution and you don't need them to be that big. The Window Scale Minimized is the small version of when you're opening and closing windows. So, basically... If I open up my GPS module, that's normal size. And when I click the, the shrink down version, there's that size. Mm -hmm. So you can play with those and move those around and get those going exactly how you like as well. All right, let's take a look at the dual monitor option. Now, the dual monitor option is, is pretty much depreciated at this point, mainly because there was a lot of problems with players having different size monitors. And that seems to be the, the general consensus that nobody had the exact same two identical monitors so things were not just lining up the way they wanted and it just caused a pain in the ass so you'll notice the first option here is the set window launch x position and basically what this lets you do is shift to the right or the left where those windows launch for example if i want the windows to launch a little bit over to the side i'll type in negative 500 and set the the window position and now when i open up my my windows all my menus everything that i open is all scooted over to the side all my pop-ups and everything so if you are using dual monitor or you're stretching the windowed mode as big as it can be to stretch across both monitors, mm -hmm. then you can adjust those settings so that your, uh, your windows open up properly where you want. And so I'm going to go ahead and set those back to normal. Mm -hmm. And you can also do this. You can, let's say by accident, you've scooted your things off the screen and you just can't get a hold of them. So you can force everything into the center of the screen again and you can move them manually, or you can go back into the GUI options and reset the CodeLink desktop, which will push everything back out to the side. 
For you uplink veterans, there's an extra click on the main buttons that will turn your, your main icons into the uplink style icon. So now you got the little, the little menus that, that go like that. And when you roll away, it automatically closes. So if you want to try to minimize and get some, get some more space on your screen, you might want to consider doing the menu system. All right, so let's see what else I can cover here real quick. I'm just going to keep this video kind of short and sweet. Um, I want to go ahead and put that back because personally, I like to see my icons. You know, the faster I can click them, the better. And sometimes I fumble over that menu. So I am going to go back into the GUI options and just set these back to vertical. I like that very much. All right, now there are a couple other things you can customize. Let's go ahead and take a look at our agent profile. And you can see right here, I've got an image. And if you want to change that image, you can go in here and change the path. It's basically just a URL. Again, you can put this uh, locally in your folder and just path right to the image. Um, if you put it in the code link folder, all you need is the image name. That's all you're going to need. Um, you may notice a personal bio. You just click in there and you can uh, type in here whatever you like. Pretty straightforward. Um, this information will be saved uh, in the database. So some of it will be pulled into the code link website. For example, if you make it in the top 20 rankings, you might want to change your image other than something the default avatar. That way it kind of shows up in the rankings and it's easier to kind of track where, where you're at and what you're doing. All right, so that pretty much sums up how you can uh, customize your code link desktop. And if you have any questions, just post them in the comments below and I'll be more than happy to answer them for you.